think I'm just going to set up right against the wall today. Welcome back to the house edition. So this morning, we did get the final inspection scheduled, so I'm kind of waiting for the inspector to come just to pass us for the electrical final. So while I'm waiting, we're going to set up the equipment outside. I'm going to set up right outside the door today instead of setting up on the lower deck. And that way, I don't have to track so much snow inside and out while I'm going in and out, and hopefully it won't make as much of a mess with the water. So let's get started. Trying to look through to the front door so I can see if the inspector's there. So we did not pass the electrical final again, and the issue now is that, actually it's two issues. Issue number one is that there's an outlet in the bathroom that is tied to the outlet in that closet area, and you cannot have that. So number one, we have to basically pull that wire back up and delete that outlet. Okay, so that's problem one. Problem two is that technically, if we call it a closet area, then we need to have sealed trims in the light, in the can lights, which we don't have. But if we don't call it a closet, then we need to have code outlets, which we don't have either. So the issue is really twofold at this point, is that either we call it one thing and we change the trims, or we call it the other and we have to add outlets, which if we add outlets by tying off of another circuit, we may need to arc fault that circuit. So it just kind of gets deeper and deeper here. So more of an issue may be that he's going to talk to the building inspector. And because the drawings, what we actually built was not exactly what the drawings show. So he's going to talk to the building inspector and see if he wants us to revise the drawings to reflect what we have. In the past, I think the building inspector's attitude was that it wasn't outside of the footprint of what we drew. So he was fine with it. So hopefully that's the case. Otherwise, I'll have to change the drawing, the floor plan drawing, and go down to the permit office and refile the drawings with that permit, uh, for a new permit with that revised drawing. So hopefully he doesn't care. He may not care, but he may. So I'm not sure at this point. I'm just going to kind of sit in a holding pattern until he talks to him and we find out one way or the other. So at this point right now, I'm just going to get back to focus on what I can do which is to try to get some hardwood laid today. So the snow is really fighting me. I've had it broomed off and I'll show you in a moment. It is completely covered again. So I'm gonna to try to do something here today, which at least I'm gonna get the planning work done and lay the paper and get back to some kind of productivity. So here we go. It's not bad. At least it's cold enough that the snow is very dry. Okay, so I'm going to start off by doing the planing here to get these leveled out. There's just a slight lip here and over here, so I'm going to be planing a good amount of it.
So, we didn't get everything we wanted today, but I did get a large percentage of the floor done. I didn't think I would get this much done when I started because it was close to midday before I really got into it. I didn't even start laying the flooring itself until after I came back from lunch. So all in all, I got a pretty good amount done because I almost did roughly about four feet. It's about 40, that's 64 square feet. So that's not too bad for a day for one guy in a couple hours. I've measured up what I have left and I need 56 square feet. So I've got 66, three boxes roughly. So that should definitely take care of it. I'm having almost zero waste at this point. So it wasn't a good start with kind of failing the electrical inspection, but I think we'll see what he says when he gets in touch with the building inspector. So hopefully that'll all work out. I hope to see you in the next clip where we can probably get the flowing wrapped up. So I'll see you then.